Welcome to my 8th grade curriculum overview. I'm doing this as a um, real quick run through over what I'm using currently for my 13 year old twin girls. We do homeschool, we do use textbooks, we are a non-religious homeschool, although some of the curriculum we use, it does is religious. Um, we just skip over that part. So if you are curious on what we use to homeschool our um, daughters, just keep watching. Okay, so before we get started, I do have cats in the room with me. So if you hear them, that is um, unavoidable in my house. If you um, know, I do have four cats and four dogs. So my house is always always loud. So let's jump into this curriculum. First thing we're doing is, um, now I do have two girls and they did choose a few subjects that they will be doing separate from each other and I will let you know. The first one is health. One of my daughters decided to um, do health as an elective and we're using the Horizons 7th um, and 8th grade health curriculum for that. It is a religious one. Again, we just tend to skip over that stuff. The uh, curriculums that we use are very easy to skip over that and just study about the academics or about, learn about the academics for those. So we do have that and it does come with a uh, teacher's guide, which is a lot thicker than the kid's guide. So that should be interesting. The next thing we do that both of my daughters do use is wordly wrap wordly wise and this is just a vocabulary one we started using this last year in seventh grade we really like this so we're just going to keep keep using that one another elective my um, one of my daughters chose is the art of argument yes i'm that mom that is um teaching arguments to teenagers <laughs> Um, no, this is actually an introduction to the informal fallacies. It looks like a very good book and it has high, high reviews. It does come with, this is the teacher's guide here, and then this is the um, student book. And my daughter is really, really, really excited to try this out. And I'm actually curious to get into this and see what it's about. It looks interesting. My other daughter did not want to do anything that said argument in it, so, so she chose the thinking toolbox and the fallacy detective and she will be doing this, um, these two books together as a subject to, they look to be about the same, so we'll see, um, they might just end up merging the classes together halfway through the year, but we will see and this is what my other daughter is doing. For math. We are actually using two curriculums. The first one is teaching textbook pre-algebra. Um, Tiffany is really liking the teaching textbooks and I actually do like this pre-algebra curriculum. We started it last year in seventh grade. We are continuing it on through eighth grade. When she gets done with this, I do have the algebra teaching textbooks. As this is not her strong suit, I'm not sure she will get through this, but we will find out. My other daughter is really loving Beast Academy math. Now, this is very interesting. It's advanced math, but it can go up through eighth grade. So we're actually doing the level five. This is just the 5A book, and this is the 5A practice. And we um, are doing all of level five this year. This is supposed to take you up through eighth grade, so you're ready for pre-algebra slash algebra when you are done with these. So she's on the same grade level as her sister. She just really likes these and um, it is actually a very fun math curriculum. It is done in comic form. So we read the comics and then we do the um, worksheets and it actually is a very, very good curriculum. If you have um, an advanced math student, I'd highly recommend this for sixth grade. If you have kids that are on par level for math, um, the, fit, the level five here is great for eighth grade. 
some more of our English curriculum we're doing. We do love Fix It Grammar. We actually started this halfway through last year. So this year we are finishing up um, student book one and we are going on to student book two when we are done. And this is a very good grammar um, curriculum. I say it's a curriculum, but it is one sentence a day. And that is all they do is just one sentence every day. And they mark um, all the parts of speech in the sentence. And we stopped on we stopped on week 17 was the last week that the girls did before their summer break. And I have to say, um, we do do end of year testing. It is required by state here. And their end of year testing for a sixth grade was not the best in the English department. So we decided to switch to textbooks. And then halfway through the year, we switched to this. Last year, their end of year testing has them on par with 10th graders, which is great. And that was 17 weeks of fix a grammar. And that did that for my girls. And I'm really, really, really excited about that one. So we are going to continue on with this one. Um, in case I didn't say, we have been homeschooling for three years, um, actually three and a half because I pulled the girls out of school in the middle of their fifth grade year. Um, so we did uh, online curriculum to start with for the first like year and a half and then we switched to textbooks last year. So this is really good if your kids struggle with grammar because this uh, easy peasy, like 15 minutes, you're done you're just done. Another, another um, English thing I guess we're doing is we're doing a book study for a wrinkle in time. So I got the Great Works um, introduction guides for literature for a wrinkle in time. And then of course we've got the book and we will be working through this. On top of, we are also reading um, the story of Narnia. We stopped at book two last year. We will continue three through seven this year. To go with that, we are actually doing the uh, writing lessons and structure and style for Narnia for the girls. We did again start this last year. And again, if your children have never written papers, this is a very good curriculum and it's a very, it eases you in and their writing has improved with just the seven papers that they wrote last year for this. So we are continuing on with this. It kind of goes with the read alouds that we are doing with Narnia. For history, we are doing the story of the world. This is volume four. So this is their textbook. It reads more like a novel. It's actually very, very interesting. I find myself loving this one. And then this is their activity book and the tests and answer key here. So this is what they will be doing for history. On top of, we are also going to be doing a government series, uh, a government curriculum, and we are choosing um, BJU American Government. So this, of course, is the teacher's guide to that. And you also have the textbook, the student activities, the activities answer keys, and the tests. So I don't know if you've ever used BJU before, but if you have, it comes with a lot of stuff, but um, I do think that they should learn a little bit about government. For their science this year, for their science this year, we went with, mass, I believe this is Master Books, yeah, Master Books, um, and this is the Anatomy Physi, Intro to Anatomy Physiology, yeah. So this is uh, the one that we will do first semester, and this is the muscular skeletal system, and this is the uh, kids book. So uh, they are doing that, and then um, for their second semester, they will be doing volume two, which, cardi which is cardiovascular respiratory systems, and um, I'm really excited to try this. I've heard really good things about this curriculum, so we'll find out. And then... Um, 
one of my daughters is going to be taking intro to astronomy as well so this is hers this is the textbook which looks very very interesting and then of course the teacher's guide and i believe that is it for the curriculum they are taking a foreign language i don't do textbooks for that i just download the Babbel app and we spend 15 minutes twice a week working on a foreign language the girls have decided on russian this year which is a very interesting choice but um, one I'm very intrigued to try as well so that is it for the girls curriculum that is a lot but we only farm school about four hours a day and we get done with this very very quickly so a lot of our read alouds like um, the Chronicles of Narnia tend to take up a lot more time I'm actually planning on doing a homeschool with me video so you will get to see a little bit more on how we actually structure the day but for now that is all the eighth grade curriculum that um, my girls are gonna be doing this year